Hello, my name is Keshwani. <coughs> Excuse me. S K E S H W A N I Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving GRE math questions out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the revised general test. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problem that we are about to solve is the one that you will find on page number 238 and today is our lesson number 122. Please turn to it. Page 238. This problem, problem number 2.8.4 deals with the concept of what is known as a line of symmetry. That's what we're going to talk about. So we're given a line, we're given an equation of a line rather, and the equation goes something like this. We are told that y equals 2x plus 5, y equals 2x plus 5. And our job is to draw not only this particular line, this particular equation, the graph of this particular equation, but also to reproduce its mirror image. And so once we have the line itself and its mirror image, then figure out where the line of symmetry is. That's all. So let's do that then. We're going to figure out what the graph of this line is, which is very simple. We have done it many times before. Find out the intercept, x-intercept and the y-intercept. The x-intercept, x-intercept of this line, the x-intercept is so-called because that's the point where the line crosses the x-axis. When the line crosses the x-axis, the y-coordinate is zero. The x-intercept is where y equals zero. And when y equals zero, we have zero equals to two times x plus five. Subtract five from both sides and you get two x equals to negative five. And x equals to negative five over two. That's the first one. That's this x-intercept. So let's plot it here. When y equals 0, x equals negative, negative 2 and a half. 1, 2, 3, somewhere here. Let's call it point A. Let's call this thing point A. Negative 5 over 2 and 0. And that's our point A. Now let's find the y-intercept. We found the x-intercept, let's find the y-intercept. The y-intercept is so-called because that's where the line cuts the y-axis. The point where the line cuts the y-axis is where x-coordinate co x, uh, x of that particular point is zero. So the y-intercept is where x is equal to zero. You put in x equal to zero in this equation, y equals two times x and x equals 0, 2 times 0 is 0, so y equals 5, that's it. So when, when x is equal to 0, y is 5, let's call it point B. And that's our y-intercept, 0 and 5, x is 0, oh, sorry, x is 0 along y-axis, well in that case this one was wrong, that's, that's wrong. We're looking for a negative 5 and a 2, that's wrong, because x is 0 along this axis, this point, what I'm showing you here, is not 0 and negative 5 halves, it is, oh it is 0 and negative 5 halves, what I meant to draw was negative 5 halves and 0, that's not right. The, the, the x-intercept, obviously it's x -intercept. what the hell was I doing, x-intercept of course, it's a guy, it's got to cut the x-axis, what the hell was I thinking? Negative 5 halves and 0, 1, 2, 3, negative 5, 5, and 0, point A. And the y-intercept we just found is 0 and 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So that's the line. And since I plotted these very close to each other, I have to go back and fix this one because they have to be consistent. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now you have, you don't have to be anal about it, uh, nobody expects you to pick up the ruler and measure it precisely, but you, have, but you do need to be reasonable. In other words, you can't just go, you have to be reasonable, you can't go one, two, three, four, this, this is just silly. 
Now, the scale on the x-axis and y-axis do not have to be the same. It's okay to say 1, 2, 1, and 2, and then on y-axis you can go 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, which is perfectly fine. What you can do is, you can go on the same axis, you can say 1, 2, 3, and then on this side you go 1, 2, 3. It doesn't work that way. Do you understand? The scale has to be consistent along the x-axis and along the y-axis, but the scale does not have to be the same. All right. Where was that all? So that's it. That's the, that's the point. Now, we find a line that is symmetric to this line. And this is how we do it. To find the line, to find the line that is symmetric to this line, I need the room. I need a lot of room, so I'm going to erase it. To find a line that is symmetric to this line, and by this line I mean this line right here, let's call it 1, to line 1, all we do is, all we have to do, all we have to do is to simply interchange x and y simply interchange x and y in equation 1. Wherever we see x in equation 1, wherever we see x, we replace it with y. Wherever we see y, we replace it with x. And you will have your equation of the line that is symmetric to that line. And once we have the equation, we're going to plot it. So let's do it then. So wherever I see x, wherever I see y becomes x, and wherever, I see, wherever we see x becomes y. So x equals, x equals 2 times x replace x with y. There we go. Now we got to work on this equation. x equals 2y plus 5. We need to work on this one and I'm going to do it on the top so that it doesn't get too crowded. So that's your, li that's your equation of the symmetric line. We're going to work on it. We're going to plot it. Or we can do it here actually. Here as you can clearly see that when y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, x equals 5, because 2 times 0 is 0, x will equal 5. So when y is 0, x is 5. y is 0 along this axis here, and it's 5. As you can see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, it should be, when x is 0, sorry, when y is 0, when y is 0, y is 0 along x axis, x is equal to 5. So we have 1, 2, 3, so here we go, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right here. Let's call it point C. 5 and 0, let's call it point C. And that, as you can see, perhaps you, can, perhaps you cannot see at this point, but that point right there is the mirror image of this point. point. This one was point B. Point B has a coordinate of 0 and 5. 0 and 5, you see? This, this point, point C, is the mirror image of that point because this, one has a co this, this point has a coordinate of 0 and 5, this one has a coordinate of 5 and 0. You see? 5 and 0. The x and y are interchanged. So whatever the value of x is here becomes the value of y over there. x over here is 0, so y over there is 0. x over here, uh, y over here is 5, so x over here is 5. You interchange the x and the y's and you get the line of symmetry. Same thing, we're going to find a symmetric point to this one over here somewhere in a second. When x is equal to 0, and of course we don't have to do any of this thing, we already know what the answer is going to be. It's going to be 0 and negative 5 over 2. This one is negative 5 over 2 and 0, so that the other one is going to be 0 and negative 5 over 2. We'll find in a second. When x is equal to 0, when x is equal to 0, you see x is 0. Here x is going to be 0, and the y is going to turn out to be negative 5 over 2. We'll see in a second. When x is equal to 0, 0 equals 2 times y plus 5 from here. 0 equals 2 times y plus 5. 0 equals 2 times y plus 5. And therefore 2y 2y equals negative 5 and y equals voila, negative 5 over 2. Negative 5 over 2. 0 and negative 5 over 2. Let's call it point D. x is 0. x is 0 along this, this x and y axis. And x is 0 and you get y of negative 5 over 2. 
Right here. Let's join them together. Voila. Let's be, let me put that in a, in a different color. And that's the, that's the mirror image of that line. Now, here's the line of symmetry. The line of symmetry, the line of symmetry is this going to be this line right here. It's a 45 degree line. It's going to be, it's going to start, it has to cut through here. Voila. This started line is your line of symmetry. In other words, this bottom one is the mirror image of the top one, or vice versa, however you want to say it. And this dotted line that we just show here has the equation of x equals to y. Now this is the line of symmetry for this particular case. This is not always the case. The line of symmetry varies depending on the graph. But anyway, that's what is called line of symmetry. What else do I need to talk about? It is an equation of y equals to x, and it makes a 45 degree angle in this case. Only in this example, you understand? That's it, we are done. That's all there was. And the concept is called the line of symmetry. Every point on this dotted line is where the value of x equals the value of y, which is why it's a 45 degree line. That's what it was. I will see you tomorrow where we'll deal with the problem that you see. <coughs> Excuse me. where we will deal with the problem that you see on the next page, page number 239 and that deals with a new concept, a concept of parabola and we'll talk about what a parabola is and what the equation of the parabola looks like and how to shift it, we're going to learn how to shift the parabola uh, left and right along x-axis and up and down along y-axis all of this wonderful stuff will be tomorrow and it's going to be a very long video tomorrow I'll see you then, okay? Bye now.